Now that we have our flat plane object converted to an editable poly, and you've been introduced to the graphite modeling tools, we're going to access the sub-object mode and do a little bit of editing. You can continue or open the file chapter 3 hildeform 02max Make sure that you have the flat plane, the landscape 01 object selected. If it's not selected, go ahead and select it now. Press Alt-W to maximize the perspective viewport. In the graphite modeling tools, click the Show Full Ribbon button if the graphite modeling tools are not visible. In the graphite modeling tools menu, click the Freeform tab. This will change the tool settings, allowing access to the Paint Deform options of the graphite modeling tools. We need to set a few options for the Paint Deform tool before we move too far ahead. Go ahead and click on the Push-Pull option in the Paint Deform section. The first thing we need to do is set both the brush size and the strength of the brush. Highlight the Size value field. Here we want to enter the size of our brush. We want our brush size to be 500 feet. However, the size field for the paint options is entered in units. So in order to get 500 feet, we need to multiply it by 12 inches, which turns out to be 6,000 inches. We'll type 6,000 in the size and hit enter. That will make the brush a 500 foot diameter brush. For the strength, we want to enter a value of 600. This will push or pull the geometry 50 feet or 600 inches when we paint. In the offset amount, type in 2 and hit enter. This will set an offset value that determines the strength of each brush stroke. Now when we move the cursor around in the viewport, you'll notice that I see my paintbrush moving around in the viewport on our landscape. This is what we're going to do. We're going to start from the back right of our landscape and draw a nice even line down the back side of our landscape. So go ahead, let's draw the line along the back side. And you'll notice that as we draw, our hills start to rise out of the landscape. Then we'll try another line a little bit further on. Click and drag. Notice how the hills are created smoothly using this tool. Now, if we go back over the same area again, we can continue increasing the height in that area as we are painting. Essentially, we are painting the hills and mountains in the scene. Don't worry too much about what you're creating here. We're going to be using a different landscape in another file. Go ahead and take the time to experiment with this a little bit. Notice we have some other tools that are available. Click the Relax Soften option and paint again. You'll notice that it will soften the areas that we painted earlier. If we click the Revert option and we paint, we'll bring everything back to the original surface. It's very important that while you're working with the paint tools, you do not click off the tool and then try to revert back to the original surface. This tool allows you to make adjustments to your brush size as well as the strength of the brush. It allows you to edit the geometry as if you were sculpting it out of clay with the ability to revert back to the original surface. This tool is a direct result of working with editable poly objects. If you like, you can save your file and continue editing it at a later time. However, we're going to use a different landscape later on in this chapter. When you're done, make sure you click off the Revert tool to deactivate the command.